gone off? It's on his way. I think he quite likes the drilling. Oh, bless. Look at his little face. He is so beautiful. Aren't you beautiful? Ooh. Give us a kiss. Mm -hmm. It's still not too late to change his name, you know. Ma'am, I've told you, I am not changing his name. But what sort of a name is Coolio for a little lad? It's his name. You stick to your guns, Tal. Thanks, Dad. I think you should call the next one Doddy, after Ken Dodd. Don't be stupid. Well, you friggin' started it. But Nana said she wanted you to call him after her, Dad. Hey, we are not calling him Adolf. <laughs> <laughs> I hope my mum's all right. They should be down by now. She looked terrified last night. I know. Wasn't the most convincing acceptance of a marriage proposal I've ever seen. I think when he picked her up and carried her out the bar, it was supposed to be like an officer and a gentleman. <laughs> More like invasion of the body snatchers. It spoilt it a bit when they had to come back for a wheelchair. Are my men and granddad married now? No, they aren't. And he's not your granddad. Not yet. <laughs> Morning. Morning. Martin, can you try again? They can't still be engaged. They said they'd let us know when a room became available. I double-checked they had our number. Oh, it's switched off. We shouldn't be staying here at all. We paid for the hotel in Altea. They made the double booking. It's their fault. We're here. Any real man would have told them that. Do you really think I want to be here? Watching the man you had an affair with strutting around like a peacock. It wasn't an affair. It was a moment of madness. Yes, well, I'm pretty bloody mad myself right now. Well, then I suggest you get on the phone and get us out of here. Hola. It's a shame I don't really tan. My mother was the same, white as a sheet she was. Your granddad didn't let her answer the door on Halloween because she used to frighten the kiddies. I'm, I'm trying to get these finished. How many are you going to have to do? I don't know, 30, 40. You'll get right as cramp. Ah, oh, Pauline said she had that. That's why she didn't write to me when they were in South Africa. Oh, was that writer's block? No, I think that's the one Geoffrey Archer had when he were in prison. Or was it that he didn't get writer's block in prison after thinking he might? I can't remember which magazine it were in. Mum, you're frying me brain. Oh, your father used to eat brains. I'm going to give these out. Lamb's brains. They were fried as well. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, look. Brad and Angelina are up. I wonder if we'll be invited to the wedding. I'd rather suck out my eyes with a vacuum cleaner and replace them with hot toffee apples. I'll tell them to put us down as not sure. Hey, do you want to go out for some lunch today? Nero's all-you-can-eat Italian buffet, eight euros. No! A free mystery meat burger near the pool will make my life complete for today, thank you. Here you are, Mystic Maureen. Capricorn, your mind is clear, your emotions calm, and this will help you to make the right choices for yourself and people you care about. Aww. A handsome stranger will make you an attractive offer you cannot refuse. Hey, lads. I'm wrestling competition near the pool at one o'clock. Five year old's entry. Winner takes it. Bloody hell, she's good, isn't she? <laughs> Well, 
still engaged. Oh, for goodness sake. Hiya. I'm wrestling competition at one o'clock. Five year old entry. Winner takes all. Hey, lads, do you want to enter arm wrestling competition? Well, you can't say there's nothing to do here. Dear God in heaven. Kate, where are you going? Did you sleep all right? No, we were up half the night. I think Mel's done his back in. Ooh, spare us the gory details, will you? Don't be disgusting. I was carrying Madge up the stairs. Should have known I always had a weak back. Jesus, how weak is your back? She only weighs about three stone, wet through. <laughs> Started as a twinge at the base of my spine when I went to bed. And during the night, it was more of a delay. Right. And this morning, it had turned into a persistent, nagging pain that moved right up to my shoulders. Yeah? Now it's like being constantly stabbed with a thousand hot knives. Right. Do you think you should see a doctor, Mel? No. I'm not one to complain. Right. I'm going to get myself a brew. Oh. No, don't worry about us. We're fine, thanks. Ha! Ah. Did you have a nice lie-in? Nice lie-in. With him snoring like a pig next door and banging about in the bathroom till all hours. You must be joking. I think he's got hemorrhoids. <laughs> <laughs> Your father was the same. The hot weather always used to bring him down. Did you have a good talk last night, ma'am? Sweats as well. Comes out of him in buckets, it does. Apart from his back, the sweating and his piles, I think you've got yourself a real catch there, Madge. <laughs> Never trust a man who sweats. They've always got something to hide. So when are you getting married, Nana? Tell, take Michael to go and play in the swings. I don't want to play in the swings. I want to stay here and see Mel's pals. <laughs> oh, no, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, ma'am. Let's take the baby for a walk. Good idea. I could do with stretching my legs. <laughs> don't strain yourself, Madge. Bugger off. <laughs> Jeff, Jeff, come here, son. What are you doing? I'm trying to organise everything here. Hey, we've got 55 euros. Oh, nice one, kiss it here. Hey, what's going on here? Nothing. What do you mean, nothing? Why have you moved all the chairs? You are not allowed to do this. We're having an arm wrestling competition. Shut up! What competition? You cannot make your own competition. She's only joking. But we've already taken people's money. For Christ's sake! You cannot make arm wrestling competition here. I bring the manageress. Hang on. Hang on, mate. There's nearly 100 euros here. Five euro per entry, winner takes all. You let us have the competition, you can enter for free. Winner takes all? If you win it, you get the lot. Wait here. I get a better table. Do the chairs! Miss Big Donna. Oh, any news? You and Jacqueline greatly missed last night. A session with the MSA, Middlesbrough Swingers Association, was a resounding success. New members, Edith and Eddie Gibson, are very much into Aino. So that's two more for our September bottoms up evening. Ah, oh, smashing! Good news, Alan's glasses turned up in the Nardini's hot tub. Bad news, Keith Bartlett's homemade lubricant has stripped the leather off my three seater. Oh dear. Another screaming orgasm? Oh, yes. Yeah, ma'am. It's got an evil look, that child. Mother, that's your great-grandson. 
Your uncle Douglas had that look, and he murdered a man. Douglas Douglas? He was deaf and only had one eye. Who's he supposed to have murdered? Oh, they covered it up. He drowned a man in Medley Street Baths for borrowing his soap. Oh, turn that buggy round. He's giving me black looks. Mother, I won't tell you again. <laughs> <coughs> Thank you, love. <coughs> so, what's going on with Mel? What do you mean, what's going on? Well, last night when he asked you to marry him and you said yeah, you didn't mean it, did you? Of course I meant it. Why would I say yes if I didn't mean it? But, Mother, you've just spent half the day moaning about him. I don't know. There's something about him. I just don't think he's right. Of course he's not right. He's off his bleeding nut. So why are you going to marry him? Because it may have escaped your notice, but I've not exactly got offers coming out my ears. I need someone to look after me. I thought I looked after you. I can hardly compare you to him. He's a successful businessman with five shops and a static caravan in Lytham. What have you got? This tea's cold. I'll get you another. How'd you say? Mm, spunk. Look, I know it's not going to be easy, but the past must remain in the past. I'm flattered that you still hold a torch for me, but I'm a married woman. What happened between us last year was a moment of madness. Nothing more. Last year? Yes, last year. We have met before. You mean you don't even remember? I am a busy man. My God, you're an animal. So, do you want to eat some Spanish sausage or not? Ah! Now I remembered you. Keep going, son. Keep going. Come on. Sorry, I didn't hurt your hand there, did I? No, oh. really, I'm fine. Sorry. Come on, out the way. Right, oh, you're in the final. Poor thing. Martin, you've beaten four people. I know. You're in the final. Surprised you noticed. OK, second semi-final, the Oracle. That'll be me versus the Turtle. Matteo. Yeah, whatever. Mm. Me and you, semi-final. Bring it on. Let's do this properly, huh? Follow me. Oh, fat boy. Not a bad cup of tea, that, considering they're foreigners. <laughs> uh, not in front of the baby mother. 
He doesn't understand about cigarettes. I don't mean you're setting a bad example. I'm talking about passive smoking. Passive smoking is just a myth. It's like them people that say going on sunbeds is bad for you. Well, it is. I've smoked since I was 16 and I've been using sunbeds since the mid-80s and look at me. Picture of hell. Yeah. <sighs> right, let's get shifted. I didn't come all the way to Spain to sit indoors. Ma'am, what I said about Mel, I've got nothing against him personally. I just want the best for you. You know that, don't you? I know you do, darling. And believe me, I'm well aware that Mel is by no means the best. Well, you'll do for me. Come on. I wonder if they do pile cream out here. Son. Keep going. Just push harder than him. I know how to do it! Sorry, son. I'm just trying to be helpful. You're not helping! Hi! Hey, excuse me, love. Get Mom, please, the green, green, please! Get out of me, will Come on, lad! Oh, will never win his techniques all wrong. If you're such an expert, how come you got knocked out? I did better than you. Knocked out in the first round be a bloody woman. Yes, we're sorry about that, but my Jacqueline's always had strong wrists, haven't you, darling? Oh, yeah. What did your mummy do, big fat baby? I'm not a baby! I'm a dragon! Don't be an idiot, you're the loser, deal with it. Next. Hey, mate, you're in the final. Who'd you tip one? Well, there's no doubt in my mind who I'm in the final with. Shall we? Well, thanks a bunch, pal. Nice to see us Brits sticking together. Hey, wait a minute, this is not fair. He's had a rest. I need 10, 15 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Wanna wrestle? Forget it. I'm okay to go again. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. I fight. Go on, lad. After you. Oh, you're bad. Are we going to send out a search party? Excuse me, lady, coming through. Howdy, darling. Front row seat. Thanks, Mel. Right! This is the grand final of the Benidorm Arm Wrestling Competition 2007. Me. Me. England? Yeah. Yeah. Versus Spain. Yeah. Oh, you. Henry Cooper once said... Get on with it. All right, all right. Lock hands. Ooh, that's not oh, nice. Oh, hey. oh, that's not nice. Take the strain. Um, wrestle! Yes, it is the only way you are going to win. Why don't you take the disqualification? 
Martin. Martin. Not on your Nelly. Oh, yes. All right, come on. Come on, man. Let's get on with it. Looks like it's unbearable. Lock hands. I hope it lasts. Well then, take the string and wrestle! Get to sleep with your wife. If you want exclusive cast interviews and even a backstage tour of the Benny Dorm set, just go to itv.com slash Benny Dorm. So, Vernon make, made up for his apparent bad parenting years ago. His children hope so, although a caravan holiday to Wales in February. Mm, nice one. One hour of comedy continues with Teenage Kicks next.